in the White Devil by John Webster, there are various characters, some of which are Lodovico, who is also a murderer and who was banished from Rome and about to return. His friends are Casper and Antonelli. Isabella is the next character who is the wife of Bracciano and also the woman that Lodovico loves deeply. Bracciano is married to Isabella but loved Vittoria or infatuated with Vittoria. Not really love. Well, on the other hand, Vittoria is also a married woman married to Camillo. Flaminio and Marcelo are brothers of Vittoria. And Zanchie is the black girl who was the maid of Vittoria and also the girl that Flaminio loves. And for whose love he would be killing his own brother Marcelo. All these characters are intertwined to make a beautiful story called the White Devil. Now the question arises, who is the White Devil? White Devil by John Webster is a revenge tragedy. A tragedy is where the protagonist dies and it is based on a theme of revenge. White Devil, as the title suggests, it is the difference between reality and depiction, the way you portray yourself to the world and the real person that you are inside. White but devil. Being double-faced, being manipulative. As the story begins, Lodovico is accused because of murder and is uh, sent out of Rome, banished from Rome. Keeping Lodovico's story aside, we find that Bracciano and Vittoria are lovers. But the problem? They were both married. But Flaminio, the cunning selfish brother of Vittoria, has no problem with this relationship because Bracciano was rich and could help him to improve his career. So, he was, so it was not a problem for him to use his sister for his advancement. So he even arranged Bracciano to meet with Vittoria secretly. But when Vittoria and Flaminio's mother, Cornelia, heard about it, she was furious because that was not right. She was married and trying to find love with another man. Things became serious when Vittoria told Bracciano about her bad dream that Bracciano's wife Isabella and Vittoria's husband Camillo tried to bury her alive in her dream. Together, Bracciano and Flaminio killed Isabella and Camillo. They killed Isabella by poisoning Bracciano's picture, which Isabella kissed regularly and they broke Camillo's neck and killed him. But the brother Flaminio and lover Bracciano put the murder blame on Vittoria in the court. Her punishment was to be sent to the convent of prostitutes. Both Bracciano and Flaminio escaped punishment by putting the blame on Vittoria in the court. Poor Vittoria tried to live a life of adultery and got trapped in her own evil scheme. Flaminio not only betrayed his sister, his own sister Vittoria, but also killed his own brother Marcelo over his relationship with Sanche. In the meantime, the outcast, the outlawed Lodovico, whom we were introduced in the beginning of the play, returns. And on finding that somebody killed his love, Isabella, he vowed to kill whoever killed her. He killed Bracciano and was looking for Flaminio. Flaminio, after hearing Bracciano's death, came looking for Vittoria and Zanche and said that I had promised Bracciano that once I hear that he dies or once he dies, I would kill you too. So Vittoria also pretends as if she did not have any reason to live anymore, as if she wanted to die. Flaminio gives her a gun saying that shoot me first, then shoot yourself. Vittoria shoots him and does not shoot herself. Both brother and sister Flaminio and Vittoria were liars because Flaminio gets up and tells her that it was a fake gun or like fake bullet. While Flaminio was trying to kill Vittoria and Zanche, Lodovico enters and kills them all and is taken to prison again. He's caught again. The theme, as we can find in The White Devil, is all about adultery, cheat, lies, murder, betrayal, and revenge among the wealthy men and women of Italian nobility. So that was a short explanation of John Webster's The White Devil. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.